Hi guys, <coughs> so bear with me, a bit of a mess again today but it's a houseworky kind of day and the postman has just arrived um, with another delivery from Cathy who is bargain bows. Um, now on Sunday she put up a load of bows, massive sale. Um, so obviously me and Libby sat there and looked. So this is what we got from her sale. And also there was some custom makes. Um, I saw some ribbon from um, the company kind of thing that she deals with. She's part of that kind of uh, the group. And I said, oh, have you got this ribbon? And she said, no, I haven't. I said, oh, well, there's only a chance you can get it. Um, I love it. Um, I'd love a bow made out of it. Um, any chance you could get that ribbon, I'd happily pay for it. So you're not out of pocket. It's like when you order it, I pay for it. So you're not out of pocket. And could you make me a bow? So that's what she did. So I'll show you the ones I got in the sale first. Definitely, definitely, definitely go over and have a look at her sale. Um, she posted it on Sunday. There's still loads left. They're all brilliant prices. And she's doing another upload, I believe, on Friday um, of more bows. So um, I've had to declutter some of Libby's bows, some of the ones she doesn't wear that much, to get these. Because obviously Libby has quite a lot. She loves her bows. But every time I get new ones, I do declutter some of the ones she doesn't wear that often. So they're on local sale sites at the moment. Um, one's got to be posted here, ready to be posted when I go to post box, which should be later on this week. So I will show you the... Um, ones I bought in the sale first and then I will show you the ones I asked her to make because um, I asked her to make two um, monster bows and then I asked her to make some corker bows because I kept seeing them but they weren't quite how I wanted them so I'll show you the ones that were in the sale first so a lot of them are tux bows and they've come in two different parcels so the first tux bow I got is this, as you can see, flamingo one. I just thought it was very summery, went with quite a lot of her dresses, but I just loved the colours on them. So I got the flamingo one and these are £1.50 each, um, which I think is a brilliant price. Then we got the dragon one. Dragons are something that my stepdad, which is Libby's um, granddad that passed away, loved and we just kind of fell in love with this it's kind of another thing to keep his memory alive so it's just got different dragons on again a tux bow all of these in this box are tux bows then this is a mermaid fabric and we just fell in love with these colors again so it's like the the pink the teal the green the gold it just looks like that butterflies we absolutely adore in this house so when we saw this we thought it was so summery and the butterfly colour was gorgeous on it. They're just like very pastely, very light, gorgeous butterflies. We got that one. This is another one out of the kind of mermaidy fabric. But to me it didn't look too mermaidy, I just loved the colour. And it's just like this teal green. It's coming up a bit more greeny and more bluey on camera, but it is more like a green. And it just looks like kind of quilted in a way. This is another one of the kind of mermaidy range. It's like scales, and this is pink. I don't know if you can see it. Do you see it's got like accents of blue in it? You can see it a bit more down here. Accents of blue and peach and stuff. So yeah, we got that one for her. This one I just fell in love with. I thought it was so summery, so bright. It's just, just loads of roses in different colours. And I just think it looks so gorgeous. And then the last tux bow we got again has butterflies on it, very, very summery. So you can see it's got blue butterflies, oh, and like daisies, and then it's got this lovely daisy charm in the middle. So that was the tux bows we got. And then I also bought two of these for when she's got bunches. I put I get all of mine on clips 
because she puts them on the bears and stuff. And these are kind of like, you can see like mermaidy scales. So I've just got these two for when she's got bunches in, and these were a pound each. And then also in the sale, I bought this monster bow. I think this one was three pounds. Um, but you can see it's got watermelons and lemons on it. And I just think it's very, very summery. goes with, she's got a, a yellow dress that's got watermelons on it. She's got a pink and, pink dress with lemons on it. So this would go very well because it picks up all colours without being exactly the same. So we've got that one. Then on to the, um, kind of private personal orders so coming into summer I wanted really summery bows to go over dresses and this was one of the fabrics that I saw now how summery is that just uh, lollipops ice poles whatever you'd call them I thought these were amazing this wasn't a ribbon she actually had um, so I said is there any chance you could order it in and make me a bow I will happily pay it you know you tell me how much it is to order it in and I'll pay it so yeah it's just dotty with lots and lots of the green the purple and the pink lollipops on and i love this so this is a monster bow again this will pick up a lot of colors in libby's dresses because libby is a hot baby and in summer we found some really nice lightweight dresses from h&m which i've hauled in a different video and we found some in pep and co and stuff so these will pick up the colors and be gorgeous so that was a custom order this one i fell in love with um i seen it on somebody else's thing and they said they've got the the ribbon from creation crew and oh, i so wanted an ice cream one and this is the ice cream wafer with pink um sauce and hundreds and thousands sprinkles and i asked kathy if she could get it and she ordered it for me and made this personally for me and i adore it it looks so cute so gorgeous I just think it looks amazing so yeah that's another monster bow and then i've been seeing corker bows in like bnm and stuff but they were on elastics and i didn't want them on the elastics i wanted them on the clips like this kind of clip to go um when she had bunches so again she ordered these in for me and she made them and i love them these are perfect so these are corker bows um you normally see them like big bulky and I didn't want them big bulky I just literally wanted these kind of bits because I wanted them just above her her um pigtail so like her hair kind of came through so she made these for me and I love them these are perfect I didn't want them on the elastics I didn't want them like you see them kind of like this with extra bits on them I didn't want all the fuss I just wanted the plain cork a bit so these are a pink and blue variety there's two different blues you can see there's like a darker blue and a lighter blue and pink dotties and they are just literally a perfect they're on clips there you go that way around they're on clips and it just dangle and they're going to look gorgeous when she's got her piggy tails in and then the other ones i wanted was like a pastely type of them again didn't want them over the top just wanted them plain kind of drop and she made me these these are going to be perfect like i said i keep seeing them in b&m and i'm like no nah, they're on elastics don't want them these are perfect these are just exactly what i wanted just bog standard plain corker bows they look really nice in her hair they're just going to be plain and simple and these are see the like rainbow pastel and then she's put some plain pink in with them they are gorgeous i think they're just going to look really pretty and i like how they kind of separate to kind of sideways because they're going to be clipped into her hair and her hair kind of sits here and it goes all really curly and the same with when she's got bows in her hair kind of sits here and goes really curly and it looks really gorgeous so i love how this kind of separates it's not all like kind of like this it does separate a bit so her hair is going to be in there and it's going to look gorgeous so that was my custom make as well and then she put in a little lollipop just a little toy for libby so she's gonna love that but thank you so much to kathy for especially these custom makes i mean this has got to be my favorite that this i fell in love with this ribbon when i saw it so this has definitely got to be my favorite so thank you so much for making these custom ones i'm so grateful for you i looked everywhere to kind of get this kind of thing and like i say it was just too over the top it was like a bow with these bits on as well and i didn't want that i just wanted the plain kind of twirly whirly bit so thank you so much for that and i'm just in love with these kind of bows 
I say you guys know I buy bows off of Kathy all the time. Um, I even show you Libby's collection. You have to mind the error. So we have downsized Libby's collection quite a lot, and as you can see, she's got all her tuxes here, and these are the ones that are like harder fabric. So all her tuxes are here. She's got a few bigger ones down there. And then she's got the kind of these I call like the mini monsters because they're a tiny bit smaller than like the big big monsters. So these I call like the mini monsters. And then she's got some single ones like this one, but these are mostly the pairs that when she's got bunches, these are mostly the pairs. There are a few, like I say, single ones like this one is a bought in one. I think 90% of these now are Kathy's. Um this one is one that Libby got given. This one is one we bought. This one is one we bought. This one is one we bought. There's a little monster herself covered in chocolate. This one we bought, and Mum's got another one as well. This one, and this one we bought. This one we bought. Um, and the unicorn one down the bottom we bought. What's in it? It carved. Um, oh, she just dropped her car. You have that one over there a second. But um, yeah, other than that, all of these, yeah. I think these ones here, are these white ones, these yellow ones, and these pearl ones, and the green ones there, and the dotty ones, and these pink ones, purple ones, uh, peach ones, these are from um, Home Bargains, and these were in a set. You've got these, these, blue, purple, and this pink. But other than that, all of that is Kathy's. All of these are Kathy's. Um, all of these along the bottom are Kathy's. I think this, yeah, all of those are Kathy's actually. These ones are ones we. Oh, I'm trying to show you. There you go. There you go. These ones are ones we got in. But all these tuxes. All of these are Kathy's. There's some other little ones up here which are all Kathy's. These are bought in. And then all of these are pretty much Kathy's. So this is a Jojo. This one's a Home Bargains. This one was a Matalan. I believe. Oh, that's a Home Bargains. That's a Kathy. That's a B&M. That's a Kathy. That's a... Oh, home bargains. That's a bought in. This is a bought in, and that's a Kathy. So, 99% of Libby's bows are Kathy's. She does brilliant bows. If you ever like, oh, I've got this outfit and I don't really know what to match it with, she is brilliant. Just ask her. She will help you find the right um, mixture for it. Um, we were trying to find a mixture to go with one of Libby's dresses. And we're still kind of like playing around with it a little bit because it's not quite right. But um, yeah, we're getting there on that one. But yeah, she is brilliant. I, apart from if we find an odd bow in town that Libby likes and she really wants, we don't buy our bows anywhere else. We don't go to any other bow maker at all. Like I say, we may buy the odd bow in town and that's about it. Um, but as we get more of Kathy's, then more of the the non cafe ones are going um, because they're being replaced by Kathy's and they're either the same kind of thing or better so yeah just another quick bargain bow haul sorry about me walking around the kitchen um, but yeah definitely go and check her out I'll put her link below definitely 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 go and check her out she's got this sale on that she put on on Sunday there is loads and loads and loads of bows still left and she is uploading again on Friday I believe I'm sure she said Friday, which will be more bows, and they are all brilliant prices. If I remember correctly, monster bows like this are three pounds. What's wrong? Um, the pinwheels are a pound. Tuxes are one fifty, and then she has glitters and everything else. So, yeah, definitely go and check her out, guys. I'll put her link below. I'm just gonna put the arrow back there. I'm coming now, baby. So I'm going to go and be with this little monster who probably wants to come out and get some more flavoured custard. 
because she seems to be obsessed by flavoured custard at the moment. Yep, she wants flavoured custard. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go guys and I'm hopefully going to be back with some more videos. Um, there she is. This is her little drawer by the way if anyone wonders. That's her bottom drawer. She's got anything that she likes like yogurts and custard in. Yeah, it is your drawer isn't it? And you've got chocolate custard all around your mouth. But yeah, that's her little drawer. She can help herself to that. It's got yogurts and custard and stuff like that in. So she goes and helps herself to that and helps herself to a spoon. So, um, hopefully going to be back with some more videos soon. Um, I'm going to try and do another speed clean if that's what you guys want. Um, she's choosing banana custard. Shut the drawer then. Shut the drawer then. Good girl. Right, go get your spoon. Right, she's chose banana custard now. So, please excuse the mess in my kitchen, but I guess she's going to go and choose a spoon now. That's a fork, baby. You can have that spoon. Okay. Right, so, yeah, we're going to go and eat banana custard. And, uh, yeah, any videos you want me to do, let me know. I've got a massive clear out going out this weekend. Um, so there won't be any selling videos at the moment um we've got to get some more stuff in uh but yeah we're just having a sort out come on then baba um so yeah there will be some more videos coming up soon hopefully if you want it a speed clean of libby's bedroom and a few other bits and any videos you want me to do just let me know i think there's one whoop, gonna be done with nikki again and yeah i'll see you soon but i'll put kathy's link in the box below definitely go and check her out her prices are amazing um her bows are amazing so definitely go and check her out and i'll see you soon guys bye